Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a little bit different from the usual wrenching I do, but uh, through all my looking online, uh, there just isn't a whole lot of info on screw machines. So I thought I would take a few minutes here uh, and go through what I think are the basics you're going to want to look at uh, if you want to learn about these machines. And these, these cam-driven machines are kind of a dying breed. Uh, in the industry. They've been taken over by CNC. However, their cycle times, uh, I think, are what keep them in the game. Uh, and cycle time is the length of time it takes to make a part. So, for instance, the part I will potentially be making takes 11 seconds to make a part. And if you were to do that on a CNC, uh, I would gather it would probably be at least double that time, maybe 30 seconds, 22 or 30 seconds to make that part. So, uh, and again, these machines are for orders in the like hundreds of thousands, uh, and the more the more parts you make, the cheaper it is to produce because the overall uh, upfront cost of tooling a machine and setting it up uh, is what makes these expensive but if you're gonna make hundreds of thousands of these parts then I mean these machines are exactly what you want so there's only a few shops that run these there's only one or two uh, near me that kind of run them uh, but finding operators to set up and run these things is is really hard because they're they weren't really taught in school uh, I went through a community college program and they went through the CNC and the manual side. So manual lathe, manual mill, uh, CNC mill, CNC lathe. Uh, but they never really touched on uh, screw machines. Um, so these three books in front of you here I think are the ones you're going to want to start on. Uh, this one here is a setup and operation manuals for the Brown and Sharp. Uh, Brown and Sharp, uh, Warner Swayze, and there's a, I think there's a few other name brands that I don't know. Brown and Sharp's the one I know the most because that's the one that they've had uh, for me to work on. So in this there is, there are 14 booklets uh, going over an overview uh, your first setup, and then more into the advanced uh, parts. So we got centering, drilling, counterboring, longitudinal turning, forming, and cutting oil. Um, so this is a good introduction uh, for the basics of a screw machine. And VintageMachinery.org has a few of these in a PDF for you to enjoy. Uh, but I just like having the in-print book. Uh, this one's from 1968. And a lot of this information is definitely still relevant today. So the second book you're going to want to pick up is this big red guy. Automatic Screw Machine Handbook by Brown and Sharp. It goes, let's see what it goes over. So you have erection and care of the machine, principle of construction and operation, how to set it up, attachments, cam design is a really interesting uh, mind-blowing read if, if you're interested in that. But this book uh, basically teaches you how to also program the machines and with a screw machine uh, the program is an actual cam zoom in here so this this cam here is one part of uh, making a part I think it might be a better example oh here you go here's a here's a good example guys so they're just making this little pin right there so three-quarter inch long 
quarter inch wide with two 45 degree chamfers on either side. So these cams around it are what produces that part. So you have your cutoff cam, the form cam, and what else here? And I'm I'm by no means an expert on this. I'm still reading and learning uh, about these. But I just thought you guys might be interested to learn a little bit about them. So uh, these cams are what tells the machine what operations to do. And it has a little roller guide on it that rides on this cam. And when it hits that dip, it'll activate the machine. So with these two on the machine, you'll be able to produce that part there. And a lot of these, a lot of the little uh, booklets here uh, teach you quite a bit about the basics. <clears throat> so, cam rises and falls, cam design, how to machine cams, uh, these books are quite valuable and just their information. The third book I picked up is just a construction and use of automatic screw machines. And this book is an older older book. Let's see here. So this is a 1965. So this one is similar to the Red Book. Um, still a very, very valuable information. This one, this book came from New York, from a machine shop on the East Coast. Always fun to see what people wrote in it. Oh, and then he wrote, wrote on the cover there. I can't read it. It's from Albany, New York, though. But this book goes over like grinding your tools, uh, the basics of the machine. Oh, there you go. There's an old gal. Number four screw machine. I mean, this one still has your belt, shaft driven machinery on it. So. And you have tables for laying out cams if you're into the cam design of it. So I think with these three books, uh, they would give you a valuable insight on uh, cam-driven screw machines. So I will leave a link to Vintage Machinery for these. He, he has a few of these uh, scanned. Uh, the other two, there might be a Google book of this one, but this one... Uh, I wasn't able to really find anything uh, near it anyway. <clears throat> and if you are looking at operating them, it would be good to pick up a manual for the machine you're going to operate. And I got this one as a repop. I can put a link in the description below for it. I'm not sponsored by it, it's just uh, one I purchased because this is one of the few things you can actually buy is a uh, operation maintenance and repair parts for the double aught screw machine and this is the one I should be getting here so it's not a very big machine uh, but it does take up a little bit of room so I will do an uh, in-depth video all about that uh, whenever I get it but uh, in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found it interesting. And uh, leave a comment or like, you know, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.